It is no secret that President Obama comes from a diverse background. This morning we have new information about his ancestors that you have not heard anywhere else. This surprising connection goes all the way back to the earliest days of colonial America. Bill Plant is at the White House with that story. Bill, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. Well, you know, we've already learned that Barack Obama is related, however distantly, to people as diverse as Warren Buffett, Sarah Palin, Rush Limbaugh, and George W. Bush. But now the researchers at Ancestry.com have discovered startling new evidence, a connection in his mother's family tree. President Obama's diverse roots from Kenya to Kansas are widely known, but now researchers have found a new link. President Obama is the 11th great-grandson of John Punch, who was the first documented African to be enslaved for life in the American colonies. Joseph Shumway of Ancestry.com says the president's white mother is a direct descendant of the first known slave in the American colonies through a family by the name of Bunch. We found that through DNA testing done by members of the Bunch family that their direct ancestors are of sub-Saharan African origin. Eventually, we were able to make a connection with the earliest Bunch family members and a gentleman by the name of John Punch. In 1640, John Punch, an African, was a servant in Virginia who escaped, was caught, and sentenced to remain in bondage to his master for life. As for the difference in the names, Punch with a P versus Bunch with a B, researchers say that's not unusual, that early record keepers wrote names as they sounded. Though records are incomplete, the Ancestry.com genealogists say the slave John Punch is the only likely person to have been the father of John Bunch sometime before 1637. John Bunch's mother was white, and so was his wife, which means that President Obama descends from the first known black and white couple who left traceable descendants. How certain are you of this conclusion? We're extremely confident in the conclusion that we've reached. What were the racial attitudes like in colonial Virginia? At the time in, in the early 1600s, the racial attitudes in colonial Virginia were, were quite a bit different than they later came to be. Racial marriage wasn't as looked down upon until about the, the 16. 60s and on upwards into the early 1700s did laws become in place to prevent that from happening. The Bunch family um, over the generations continued uh, to intermarry with, with white people and just became white for all intents and purposes. John Bunch one in Ancestry.com's Obama family tree is the first in a seven generation line of Bunches originally in Virginia moving to Tennessee, Arkansas and finally to Kansas where President Obama's great-grandmother, Leona McCurry, his grandmother, Madeline Payne, and his mother, Stanley Ann Dunham, were born. I'm the son of a black man from Kenya and a white woman from Kansas. Race is a subject the president has dealt with all his life, and never more urgently than when he broke with his former pastor, Reverend Jeremiah Wright, in 2008 over Wright's divisive racial views. The issues that have surfaced over the last few weeks reflect the complexities of race in this country that we've never really worked through. David Marinus, author of a new Obama biography, did extensive research into the Obama family for his book. At that point, it included Luo, the tribal uh, clan of the Obamas, and English and Welsh and Irish and Scottish and German um, from the white side of his family. Uh, and now we're discovering something more. Marinus, who traveled to Kenya and Indonesia in search of the influences that shaped Barack Obama, says the president's diverse roots make him hard to categorize. Because of the color of his skin uh, and his father's uh, background, he was African-American. But culturally, he was, he was not. He had to learn it. He's never been easy to pigeonhole. Uh, that's part of the attraction and mystery of Barack Obama. The Ancestry.com team did two years of research to puzzle this out. They looked through thousands of pages of colonial records. They got the DNA from the Bunch family. And even without the documented connection to John Punch, they're very certain of their finding about the president's slave ancestor on his mother's side. Gail, Charlie. 
Amazing what you can find. Thank you, Bill. Amazing what you can find, Charlie, when you start digging around yeah. the family tree. You know what interests me most, though, about all this is that whatever the life that this president or any other future president has, how did it influence who he is or who she is right. uh, in terms of how they see the world? You know, somebody did one on me recently and said that I was distantly related to Martha Stewart. I didn't, still I didn't know that. No, me neither. And neither did she. Still trying to figure that one out.